All right, Beelins, Beelins, go in the Beelins library. Oh, every time I fill up this tank, it's like, it has this stutter when it tries to lower the, uh, the RPMs. It stutters and then has to raise the RPMs a little bit. And it seems coordinated with the filling of the tank. It's just, it's just judging the amount of gas in it or something, or it's just, I've never seen that done before. I've never seen it happen before, but I don't have a lot of experience. Okay, what do I do? I'm going to Albuquerque, not in Las... Yes, okay. They make it very clear in the signage. Albuquerque on the left. All right. Okay, pedestrians, na na na. Na na na. All oh, windows up. Sunroof stays open. What time is it? Like 10? 11? 11 a.m.? Gotta say, I really enjoy that lemon and ginger combination. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm getting onto the highway with some curves. Gotta get through the curves and then on the 70 mile an hour highway, it's kind of busy. I guess it gets... How do these homeless bums travel from city to city? Do they take the river? I think there's people who are actively walking on the, the river trail. Yes, uh, 39 miles. 39 miles. Florida trailer court. I get a little lightheaded when I talk. I think it's all a part of the gallbladder disease. It's not exactly fun. I just hope I don't pass out while driving. That's all I want to avoid. I'm increasing my exercising. That's got to help for something. Like my my pecs are sore. I didn't. I didn't. I barely worked out yesterday, and my pecs are 75. Wow. My pecs are sore today from it, and that's great. I really got to work my legs though. Okay, car shaking a little bit. I'm a little disoriented. Just don't go too fast and I should be fine. I mean, I had so much ginger. How can I be, how can I be uh, dizzy with all that ginger? Maybe, maybe the lemon juice affects the, uh, affects the ginger. The ginger doesn't seem to burn as much. That was one tasty burger. God, I love burgers. They don't seem to really hurt me. I don't, they, they usually put sauces on the double Whopper. Lemitar 3, Albuquerque 70, Santa Fe 129. They usually put mayonnaise and ketchup maybe mustard but mayonnaise and ketchup on the double whopper with cheese and I say no sauces no thanks they still charge the same price because sauces are that unessential the sauces are that cheap that it really doesn't affect the price and the burger tastes good without them I mean geez they already put a tomato on that, that covers my ketchup enough. And the mayonnaise, that's just overkill. So I've had problems with... With, uh, with the Whoppers in the past. I would just not... My heart would not feel right. And... Now that I've been eating them without the sauces, I feel much better. I'll eat it with the buns. Some people will take the top bun off. 
That's for the protein diet. I heard that meant like 20 years ago, many years ago. But it's really the sauces. I'm like, yeah, I'll take off the top bun, but keep the sauces? No. Get rid of the sauce. Don't don't have any sauces with it. They already add a lettuce, a nice crisp lettuce leaf, some onions, and a tomato. That's good enough. Definitely happy with that. No sauces. The bun could be improved. The bun could be more, um, like, it could lack, you know, it could be uh, more natural. If they would have more natural buns, I would definitely want that. They still stick with the white, the white bread, the white overprocessed bread. I should have brought my wheat germ with me. Sprinkle that on. That would make up for some of the loss. Because all that bread is is entirely entirely the the white stuff. They removed the, the bran and they removed the germ. So you're left with just all that gluten. That you can make... Oh my god, that was a bump. I'd rather hit that at 55. This guy's going 55, that's fine by me. It's a little slow, but that's fine. Especially with, with bridges like that. <clears throat> it's a little slow. I'll, I'll pass him. I like, I like the 55, but... I can't, oh, oh, uh, the road's a little rough here. San Acacia 7, Albuquerque 66, Santa Fe 125. The thing. All right, getting in the right lane. Texas Canyon, I-10, Arizona, exit 322. The thing, what is it? It's probably healthier than me. All right, I'm at 70, things are shaking. Medicare trans. I guess these roads are so close together they need this separator. <laughs> People might think that they're about to get in an accident, so that's why they added these green separator things. There go, oh my God, I'm gonna die! This guy's driving the wrong way! Put some blinders on so you can't see the chaos as easily. Just reduce the visibility of the chaos, and that makes the makes the fear go go away. Mystery of the desert, the thing. Historic downtown Santa Fe. They're already advertising. They're already advertising business for Santa Fe all the way here. Maybe they're trying to reach that that El Paso crowd. Talk about advertising from far away from the from your location. Wide smiles, wider landscape, heritage rodeo arena. There's a guy with a cowboy hat smiling. Maybe he rode a bull and was successful and wanted to communicate the joy of that, of that conquest. That's a real mud hut, oh my god. And it has windows. Lord, hear our prayer. There's another mud hut. They got like mud huts. There's a big cemetery. Doesn't look very old, so I couldn't call it a pioneer cemetery. They like to separate Pioneer Cemeteries from the regular. And I really haven't come across any Pioneer Cemeteries lately. I guess that's probably because Pioneers really haven't been a big part of this landscape. 
the people that came arrived after pioneers and were like gold diggers. Gold diggers first. Gold diggers, they don't make grave di graveyards for gold diggers. Specifically. Unless there's a sizable population of pioneers, honorable pioneers. We're proud to have mined lead and silver out of these areas. Okay, I'm at 70, things feel okay. 29 miles. Screen's a little dusty. I'm looking for places to clean out the car. It is due. Man. You know, with my new backpack, I can run more. I feel better about that. Now I just need to run more. Maybe that'll improve my lightheaded. I ran a little bit yesterday, and I, I was actually coughing like I was, uh, I was getting some deep, deep phlegm that built up. And I can feel that deep phlegm being coughed up. I know I'm doing the right exercises, which was running. And the backpack allows me to run. That side pack will be used mostly for for uh, just walking into the grocery store or unloading my pee bottles or something. Side pack really was a hindrance to my movement. Just like sandals are a hindrance. I have to walk slower with the side pack, and I did that for years. It was not very smart. Sandals made me walk slower, or cautiously. The sandals are pretty good, especially in the real hot days. Keep that option. I'll just, I just, uh, I think I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pass between maybe three or four bags. I think I'd like two side bags and two backpacks for specific, specific trips. So now that I feel how great this backpack is, wow. I, I would have had a lot easier time climbing a lot of mountains in the past with a backpack than a side pack. Is that side a lot of longhorn steers? That side pack would constantly shift on me. Bernardo 12, Albuquerque 59, Santa Fe 118. I don't know why I'm slightly dizzy. I don't like it. Well, it's probably the gallbladder. It's been making me sick all morning. I wonder if burgers help with gallbladder issues. Are burgers the solution? I'll have to eat more of them to find out. Quarter pounders with cheese and, and double whoppers. A burger a day, coffee and burger. And I'll need some potato. I guess potatoes in a can I could do regular. But I guess I'll, I'll break down for Wendy's. I am spending more money on food now with fast food. I'm making a little bit more. But that doesn't mean I should be spending more. But I mean, it's, it's it means I can eat. I can eat a little bit better. I can eat foods that don't make me sick. a little bit more so it just kind of brings me back to being neutral with uh, my savings yeah this this lightheadedness is really something so they had a way station now it's no longer just it's so strange too it's like it's in my chest what if I put a magnet I put a magnet over the site. Yeah, I feel... Ooh, I don't like that bump. I won't like this. Oh, ah, that was close. Just a little under 70 feels good. It's a lot of plain 
mountains, not any significant mountains. They're off in the distance. No sign of the Rio Grande. That Rio Grande's, I'm gonna be meeting up with the Rio Grande up here. A rest area. Just looks like a big shack. It's one big wooden shack. Looks like a fort. Oh, things are shaking pretty good now. Wearing away at those tires a little faster. Best thing I could do is lighten up the load in the car so that they don't wear as much. What else can I toss out? I really like to toss out this passenger airbag. It's completely worthless. The last time I tried to pull it, the nut was too tight. I, might, I should have like a professional mechanic remove it. overnight parking too. It's been looking pretty good. I'm sure it'll get worse in Albuquerque. Waterfowl management area. Yeah, I got a good, a slightly good workout in today. Bicycled down to the Rio Grande and, and then worked out on the side you know, in some trees. I, I just used a tree. It felt good. I actually burnt out. I like burnt out the back of my shoulders doing rows. Changing up the, the grip. Something I should have done a long time ago. There is so much, you know, first of all, just getting the, getting the suspension trainer made. That's something I should have done a long time ago. And then second, all the tweaks I've been doing to it. I'm much happier with the, the refinement. It's taken many years to really get it, get it the way I want. Many years. Just playing around with it and getting a feel for what feels better. This is what I have feels the best. Having more stiffness to it. Having a, a having a change in the staggering staggering the the handle lengths, being able to quickly stagger. There's some things that just make the experience much better. There's a dead coyote. I haven't heard them in quite a while. Looks like the train is practically stopped on the tracks. Either that or it's moving very slowly. At my pace, it's really hard to tell. It seems unbelievable a train if you just, there's like a hundred cars. You'd just be sitting on the tracks like that. Out in the middle of nowhere. There's not much going on out here. This is a wildlife refuge. You know, different bushes are coming out. 
I'm not seeing the cottonwood as much. It's a much different kind of, oh! Different soil, different bush. I'm not sure. I haven't been seeing ephedra much. But I'm sure ephedra could still survive. So ephedra could survive the wind. So ephedra could survive snow. Freezing temperatures. It's a hardy desert desert type plant. But it needs those dry conditions. Yeah, there's ver there's no cactus. No Joshua trees. More grassland. Very dry looking grass. There are patches of green. I'm heading straight north to cooler temperature. It feels like the, the elevation is going up. Very gradual if it is. Temperature seems to be picking up. It's going to be warm. Even in Albuquerque. Fog seal starting March 25th. Fog seal. What are they talking about? Fog seal. Alright, it looks like the 16 miles out looks like the billboards are picking up. Is let uh, Resort Casino Route 66 something? Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument. Exit 175. Man, that burger looks good at Denny's. I could kind of go for another burger. I was thinking, I was, I wanted to get a double whopper with cheese, and then, and then a, a quarter pounder with cheese. Stop at both of the restaurants and get a, a sandwich at each. Six dollars a pop. I'd have blown twelve bucks and two tasty burgers. I'm still kind of like in the mood for eating. It's scary though because I get sick so easy. I get sick when I'm hungry. I get sick when I eat the wrong thing. 